Grapes Productions Presence Useful Things You Can Do on a Mac, Episode 9, Automator Hello, welcome to Useful Things You Can Do on a Mac, Episode 9. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to use Automator to wake you up in the morning. So, uh, what you need to do is go into wherever Safari is, Safari. Google, play sound. Third one down, uh, Microcosm or something like that, software, and then download it. When, in, when it's downloaded, um, just drag it into applications. It's, it just appears in this general vicinity of the screen. And you see this icon, drag it into applications. I've already done this five times, so I'm not going to download it again. And um, now you need to quit Safari and open up uh, there it is, Automator once that's open you should get a dialog and when you have custom so you choose choose custom and go into files and folders and get specified finder items drag that into your workflow this is the workflow over here and open finder items then open it with, this is where the play sound comes in, open with play sound. Utilities, only two more things, this is pretty simple. Drag the loop in, and set computer volume. Because, set computer volume, basically because you don't want to remember to um, choose your computer volume every night before you go to bed. So, up with comp computer volume, and I'll set it to there. And then loop. Um, if you're going to be asleep, don't ask to continue. Hit loop automatically. And you want it to loop for maybe two times. Then add. This is where you add your music. Obviously. Then when you've got all that done. Just hit the run button and it will play its song uh, over for you. And uh, oh, yeah, and to stop it, you press the escape button because uh, the stop button just stops workflow from going. Once that's done, you don't need to worry about that. So now you want to save um, your file, save it as an application, and you can save it as whatever, wherever you want. And so, yeah, just save. And yeah, of course, I'll replace it. And uh, then you can I'll just show you it works uh, quit by quitting Automator here. Quit, thank you. Um, and then, so go to where you saved it, in my case, documents, and make sure it's there. So, uh, yeah, there it is, untitled. And uh, that's not a good, a good one, by the way. I'll just show you that for a later reference. And make sure it works. So, yes, open. And there she goes. Nice. Yeah, there's the sound. And then again, hit escape to stop it, even out of the application. So go into system prefs now. Go to accounts. Go to login items. And make sure it's there. In my case, it's startup. Um, so, but to add it, you need to press the little plus button. Go to where you saved it. And then click on it. And then click the add button which I don't need to do. And then um, go to Energy Saver to schedule it. Uh, which, this is somewhat hard to find. So uh, start up awake every day at um, whatever, 6.15. You can change it to uh, weekends, weekdays, or any day of the week. And another uh, nice thing is you can make it sleep or shut down or what whatnot, which I don't need to do though. And yeah, so that's it. Oh yeah, one more thing. Um, if, if you've got a Mac laptop, you need to make sure it's plugged in for it to start. I don't know why, but that's just how it works. Anyway, so that's it. Bye.